If you have seen my previous sim fact, I told you that a special guy saw something no one else have seen in the king's chamber inside of the great pyramid. He never told anyone this because no one wouldn't believe him. He's actually Admiral Landgrab. Hi there, I'm your host Krill and today's topic we will discover one of the deepest secrets and mysteries in Chamberlain Sims, the second world for the Sims 3 world adventures. Welcome to another Sim Fact. In my research I discovered that Champlain Sims, which in this case is based on France, has a lot of history, actually more than I thought. But before we go in deep we must understand some basic info. Champlain Sims, wow guys, it's a long word. I will call it Champs instead if you don't mind. Champs is a pre-made destination sub-world in of course Sims 3 first expansion pack world adventure alongside with Al Simara and Shang Simla, if I can pronounce that right. I already covered all Al Simara here on Simfact, so check it out after this episode. Champs was a settled towards the end of a medieval period and has a rich history and culture. The town is modeled on a rustic small towns in France and features activities and items that reflects French traditions and buildings has these brick and yellowish postures. It is an excellent grape growing country and has a strong history of it. Yeah, here is where they create good wine. Um, I mean Nectar, that is what co EA calls it. Maybe just because most of the Sims fans are still very young. Anyway, I'll talk more about Nectar in just a moment. Shall LSEs? I'm really sorry about my French, I'm not really good. If you don't know what it means, Shall Elysee is a famous vibrant avenue in Paris. Some might also relate Champs to a French city of Nîmes, famous for a Roman aqueduct. And in Champs, the there is a viaduct with a train track running on it. Essentially, a train passes by from one tunnel to another. The train can be a reference to the Orient Express and its model is reused from The Sims 2 free time this year at Tata Valley. <laughs> Neighborhood, sorry my English today, I don't know why. The Orient Express was the name of a long distance passenger train service in 1883 by Compagnie Internationale Diva Goodly. <laughs> sorry, I better show you the names instead of me trying to pronounce them. The Orient Express was a showcase of luxury and comfort, at that time it still was rough and dangerous. It had a lot of routes, but the original route which ran on October 4th 1883 and was from Paris. Anyway, as you already know, France do have a lot of history and mystery. First, I wanna begin with a feature that were introduced to this expansion pack. Nectars. As I said earlier, it's the Sims version of wine, however, it's not specified whether or not nectar is alcoholic. Even so, it cannot be consumed by children. Nectar was actually introduced as an activity in the original The Sims Making Magic. Even even though nectars, it's not specifically said to be alcoholic. Enchanted garden gnomes who swim in a nectar press will slightly be tipsy. Also, a fun fact is the nectar is also a drink of gods in Greek mythology and grants their drinkers immortally. So here is where things getting more interesting. About 6,000 years ago here in World Shamla Sims lived a person, Jan Nectar, the creator of Nectar. And how did I know this? Because when I discovered Landgrab's Nectar papers located in his library. In Chateau de Landgrab, when I was participating in an adventure and a quote came up and told me this. I can prove without a doubt that Jan Nectar created Nectar centuries ago, but the question is why was it in Landgrab's library? According to the facts, Jan Nectar and his alleged descendant Anastasia Nectar and Admiral Landgrab were a part of the creation of the Nectar. This will be confusing and many hidden mysteries is here and I'm gonna break it down to you for you. Admiral Landgrab might be the parody of Napoleon. With that said, it seems that Landgrab took the credit for invention of 
the delicious nectar beverage along with Anastasia and was easily believed due to his massive and impressive estate. At some point in his life, according to Landgrab's groundkeeper, he sent his men to kill Anastasia Nectar and possibly took all the credit of creating nectar. However, the woman was rescued by a man named James Wan. I see what you did there, EA. Later in his life, he wanted to learn about the ancestor of Anastasia, so ventured to a tomb with his men and they asked Nectar for directions, but she pointed them in a wrong direction and were never seen again. Contradicting previous statement that he was killed by natives. However, Landgrab's remains can be found in somewhere in Chateau de Landgrab, so his body must have been recovered. Landgrab have also been mentioned in a few expansion packs such as Hot Date and Vacation. Admiral Langreb is without any doubt Sim Nation's most tragic naval hero. After a series of dashing exploits in his youth, Langreb settled into a downward spiral of mercantile adventures, gunboat diplomacy and inevitable treaty breaking that became synonymous with Langreb family to this day. It's clear that he is a member of the Langreb dynasty, but his position in the family tree is unknown. But one thing I don't get is that Admiral Langreb lived here in Shams 60 years before the start of The Sims 3 and how is this even possible? I mean it tells you that he's a long dead historical figure. 60 years is not what I consider him to be a long time dead. Napoleon lived between 17th to 18th century, possibly suggesting he could have been Malcolm Landgrab 1, therefore possibly being patriarch of the Landgrab family. Now his personality is very strange. He appeared to be a cold-hearted, sadistic and cold-hungry, also quite neurotic and that's why his estate has so many traps. Yes, he could be a parody of Napoleon. They are both French and have the same personality. Both are historical figures and he actually looks like Napoleon. If you look at the painting from The Sims Hot Day, Admiral Landgrab was killed by Sim natives. These are Sims who native to a few of Sim nations area. They are mentioned in the Sims vacation which means they have inhabited vacation island before all of those resorts, camps, lodges and other recreational facilities were built. They even inhabited Vanami island in the Sims castaway stories. Their physical in-game appearance is unknown although they might have looked like something like the resident of Twiki island. Uh, ju just a fun fact right there. Now there is a few tombs in this world, not so many as Egypt has but just a few. One of them is a big one and might also be the biggest tomb in an entire world adventure expansion pack. It's called the Champless Sims Nectary Tomb and yes it seems that Nectars are pretty famous here in France and yes it's entered through a secret passage in the basement underneath the Nectary. A tomb which not only contains many ancient Nectary treasures but also Egyptian based treasures as well. This this tomb contains two mummies which are said to be king and queen of Egypt, sipping on nectar till the eve they die. Fun fact, in 18th century humans could finally upgrade and build railways so wine from south, I mean nectar, could be transported to areas with no water connections like Paris in France. Furthermore, let's take a look at John Nectar. The name nectar as you know means wine. The two last word U and X came from Bordeaux which is a place in France where they have a total wine yard of over 120,000 hectares making it largest wine growing area in France. Their Bordeaux wine was introduced in Bordeaux region by the Romans. Probably in mid first century did you know that the famous Nectar family created a rack also called Nectar rack which helps the nectar to have a more value of the production and makes the nectar age, age more faster than the cheese cheaper flavor and savor nectar rack and it's recommended to be placed in a basement the nectar gains roughly 10% in value per day and you can have the nectar making as a skilled career that will introduce later in the sims 3 ambitions by making nectar you must have the amour the fruits <laughs> nectar maker oh my god my french i don't sorry which means the love of fruits by making you sims placing 10 fruits in the tube squishing them with their feet which is an old 
technique but it makes the job done. Red nectar was associated with blood by the ancient Egyptians. There is a few mummies here in Shams that were from Egyptian, maybe because nectar was also really popular in Egypt. However, to end everything here, I also found a mysterious gnome looking like Napoleon or should I say Admiral Landgrab that you can only find here in Shamsless Sims. What do you think about this story about Admiral Landgrab? How did he die? Was he murdered? And if you have other topic you want me to talk about here on Sim Facts, let me know. I know you guys have requested a lot and we have a lot of Sim Facts to cover. I hope you don't drink too much nectar this weekend or whatever you, week that you see this video. And as always, my job is to make your Sim smarter. Today we will talk about a very interesting topic, the Pancakes family. My question or the whole Sim community wonder why Bob is always so sad and why do their marriage not work? And the biggest question of all, who are they really? The Pancakes family is a pre-made household feature in the world Willow Creek in The Sims 4 and it consists with a couple Bob and Eliza.